2023 has been a flop year for most dividend stocks, while growth ruled the roost. As tech and other growth names took center stage, many reliable income plays collected dust thanks to economic chaos. Record high inflation and interest rates have flipped the script, forcing investors to overhaul portfolios in a hurry. As a result, lots of dividend shares got dumped for the safety of cash and bonds. But don't let this subpar performance fool you. It's actually setting the stage for future-proof income gems. Oversold opportunities remain for long-term players who are prepared to put in the necessary work after the growth rally. Whether seeking the highest yields, established companies with a robust payout history, or promising up-and-comers, this video explores 10 undervalued dividend stocks that are too good to sleep on. Before moving on, be sure to subscribe so you get notified whenever we post. Without further ado, let's start the video. Number 10. Verizon Communications Inc. VZ Verizon Communications VZ looks like a dividend diamond in the rough. After crashing from $30 to just $38, this telecom titan seems poised for a comeback. Verizon went all in on 5G infrastructure, but these network investments took longer to pay off than anticipated. Soaring rates added to the worries around its sizable debt load. However, lower treasury yields should relieve some of those concerns going forward. As Verizon's spend binge appears to be coming to an end, competitive pressures seem to be decreasing, and cash flows are anticipated by management to improve in 2024. Even after rebounding, VZ remains a bargain trading at just eight times the earnings, despite a massive 7.2% yield. It seems this dividend darling's days in the dumps are numbered, making it one of the most undervalued income plays out there. Number 9. Hormel Foods Core HRL Next up, we have Hormel Foods HRL, that looks like a powerhouse primed for profits. The packaged foods player has been pummeled recently smashing multi-year lows. But this downturn has driven its dividend yield up to a hefty 3.5%, while shares sell at a reasonable 21 times the future earnings. Hormel is better equipped than many for current conditions given its meaty portfolio of nutrient-rich foods like nuts, beans, and fresh-prepared proteins. As weight loss drugs reshape diets, these items should keep Hormel's sales from slimming down. Inflation is cooling, and livestock prices are stabilizing too. So management likely foresees fattening margins and a favorable forecast in 2024. It seems like this dividend option has hit rock bottom, making it one of the most undervalued income plays with staying power in this tough market. Number 8. Tyson Foods, TSN Moving on to Tyson Foods, TSN, which again looks like a meaty opportunity trading below fair value. This rakes in over $53 billion annually selling beef, pork, and chicken. While commoditized meat means little pricing power, Tyson aims to minimize volatility by diversifying across red meat and poultry. However, diversification takes dough, and headwinds in any one area have dragged total results before. There also seems to be limited synergies when juggling different proteins. Thanks to these challenges, Tyson has been cut down lately trading at a bargain basement price of just $82, with a generous 3.8% dividend yield. With shares underrated and Morningstar slapping a lucrative five-star rating on it, Tyson looks like one of the most undervalued big-name dividend plays in its industry, if you have an appetite for consistent income. Number 7. Regency Centers, REG Speaking of consistency, Regency Centers, REG, seems well positioned to provide investors with consistent returns. With the acquisition of Urstadt Biddle, Regency, the largest shopping center REIT, gained unmatched scale and now possesses nearly 500 premium sites in desirable US markets. The portfolio focuses on hubs that are anchored by groceries, with supermarket giants dominating 8 out of 10 centers. Due to their significantly higher sales per square foot than the national average, grocery stores alone account for more than 20% of base rent. Beyond supermarkets, properties are occupied by service tenants who are innately resilient to the demands of e-commerce. However, even with a strong economic buffer supported by tenants who are there out of need, RAG has seen a decline in rental income. On the other hand, Inflation peaking might ease cost pressures and pave the way for future margin expansion. 
Because of its solid strategy and solid fundamentals, Regency Centers appears to be one of the best values in retail real estate at the moment, according to REIT investors. Number 6. Diageo PLC DEO. Diageo DEO, boasts steady liquidity as a global alcohol kingpin. At this UK, founded firm's core site longtime brands like Smirnoff, Don Julio, Johnny Walker, and Guinness, which stretch back centuries. Because of that legacy, Diageo weathers economic cycles with constant customer thirst. While individual spirits may seesaw, its diverse drink array counters volatility. Diageo's stock, like its peers in the packaged goods industry facing wellness waves, has lost its appeal. Concerns about drug-induced dieting overwhelmed the group, and DEO's sales warning for Latin America and the Caribbean made matters worse. However, overreaction has driven stock prices to a low not seen since the turmoil of 2008. Signs of stabilization are now appearing as cost pressures lessen. Diageo's global presence, astute managerial skills and stable revenue stream indicate stability in the face of transient upheavals. Given its extensive track record of dividend growth, Diageo seems to be the best cheap option for investors seeking to satisfy their long-term portfolio needs. Number 5. Unum Group UNM. Next on the list is Unum, UNM, a stock that looks ready to recover following a recent decline in earnings. The life insurer, which also provides disability and accident insurance, plummeted after Q3 results that were lower than anticipated. However, its shares are trading below six times the forward earnings at these depressed prices. Even better, higher rates increase UNM's investment portfolio's returns on fixed income assets. Additionally, by enhancing the prognosis for diabetes and related disorders, weight loss medications may reduce long-term costs. In this line of work, handling related claims well is essential. Post-beating, UNM offers a generous 3.3% yield while trading at book value. Considering both near-term and long-view opportunities, UNUM looks significantly undervalued for patient income investors angling to capitalize on America's shift to healthier living. As macro headwinds recede, this defensive sector play sets up for upside surprises in the year ahead. Number 4. Goldman Sachs Group Inc. GS It looks like Goldman Sachs GS, is in a good position to break out from the recent trading slump. Being one of the most seasoned investment titans on Wall Street with expertise in retail banking, GS handled previous crises, like the housing crisis of 2008, with shrewd care. However, its breadth extends beyond exclusive plays. GS's stronghold in the capital markets supports M and A advisory, bond offerings, IPOs, and secondaries. After a dormant stretch, those underwriting engines show signs of revving higher. Capital activity has accelerated in 2023 as recession fears recede. GS should capture more action across financing and deal making. Meanwhile, shares have idled since 2021 they still have the strength to advance. For long-term stock pickers, GS offers an opportunity to invest in a financial bellwether primed to surge as capital markets normalize. Number 3. National Storage Affiliates Trust NSA. As a pioneer in self-storage that is expanding quickly, National Storage Affiliates NSA, seems ready to make a comeback. Just over a decade old, NSA has ballooned revenues from $329 million to $800 million plus dollars since 2018 by amassing facilities coast to coast. Shareholders have been richly rewarded too through strong dividend growth alongside expansion. Yet 2023 created potholes, with higher rates inflating costs to construct or procure more units while refinancing debt. However, yields have stepped off the gas signaling smoother roads ahead for storage sector players like NSA. NSA is currently trading at a 5.9% yield, which is lucrative given its strong balance sheet and development experience. Short-term pressures from outside sources are balanced against long-term fundamentals, which include portfolios situated in urban areas and storage demand driven by necessity. Potential headwinds are turning into tailwinds, and NSA appears poised to pick up speed in the upcoming year. Number 2. British American Tobacco PLC BTI. After some temporary setbacks, British American Tobacco BTI, seems to be headed for more success. Historically king of cigarettes globally, BTI now pushes hard into vaping, heated not burned, and other novel nicotine delivery options. 
Yet shares recently plunged multi-year lows after expending legacy brands. However, investors should gaze forward as BTI's future lies in reduced risk products outpacing cigarettes. Revenue from these alternative segments climbs steadily and profitability looms several years ahead of schedule. Now, at only six times the forward earnings alongside a massive 9.5% yield, BTI stock looks dramatically undervalued. Plus, management anticipates sales and earnings growth in 2024 as reduced risk divisions accelerate. This year, BTI looks like an attractive income play, well-timed for future fortunes to rebound as long-term strategies start to pay off ahead of schedule and short-term volatility fades. Number 1. United Parcel Service Inc. UPS. UPS is unquestionably the leader in package delivery services. Providing all-inclusive logistic services both domestically and internationally, UPS met unprecedented demand following the boom in e-commerce in 2020. As consumer spending reached unprecedented heights in 2021 to 2022, those golden years continued to rise. Sadly, good news has come to an end, but opportunity has begun anew. In this inflationary hellscape, costs such as wages rise as workers demand their due. Raising rates, however, now appears futile as the retail recession debilitates demand, a weak economy threatening performance in 2024. But brace yourself, because e-commerce's sustained growth will continue to be UPS's main source of energy throughout the 2020s. And before its impending comeback, investors can now take advantage of this logistics behemoth at a reduced price. UPS's long-term upward trajectory is ensured by the irreversible rise of online ordering, even in times when markets falter temporarily. This industry mainstay is still without a doubt the best option to benefit from e-commerce's impending domination. And there you have it. Supported by reliable business models and forecast anticipated economic trends, these dividend stocks provide low-risk opportunities to generate significant yields with some capital gains. Income investors can now fortify portfolios for resilient returns, as some initiatives are being started at discounted rates. In the words of American investor Peter Lynch, the best time to buy a stock is when it is going down, because that is when you can buy quality at a discount. So, which of these dividend stocks you're planning to buy first? Tell us in the comments below. For more such videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.